All right. Hey, everybody, look. Look. Sunlight. Ooh, man, it's bright. Yeah. You come in here. There's sunlight on the motor. Isn't that awesome? And it's doing autofocusing. I don't know what the hell it's doing that for now. I, I you know, some days, you know, you got to be smarter than the equipment you're using. And clearly, there are times when I'm not. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to get this spun around because I'd like to have some better light on the back end of it while I'm doing some work with uh, the wires and the uh, parts from yesterday that we were talking about. And I'd like to be able to show you without some little piddly farting light on it. So uh, I'll be back. All right, here we go. See, that's so much better. You can see stuff. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to be working right here, mostly today, right in this area, because um, I plan on coming over tomorrow. So I'm not intending on doing a whole bunch of bunch of stuff tonight. Come on, focus! Oh, there we go. Uh, so anyway, that's where we're at right now. Um, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I slipped the uh, resistor back into its little clamp. It's right there over the coil because if you remember, this is a point style system, but we're going to be converting it over to electronic ignition using this kit from Pertronics. Okay. It's basically, it's an upgrade to electronic ignition um, for this particular engine, for the Chrysler 318, um, 1971, and there's some other, there's some other years, but it's the ones with the IBM are also known as a Presto Light distributor on them. Uh, it, the kit that you want is number 1581. Now, when we get to changing that out, there's going to be some fun in there because a regular rotation engine gets this igniter kit installed differently than a counterclockwise rotation or reverse rotation engine like I have uh, gets it installed. So we'll look at that too whenever I get to do it. But for now, I'll be back. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Oh, my buddy... <laughs> John stuck his finger in front of the camera earlier before I'd actually started. Okay, so I had to put some more paint on the thing. Um, if you look right here, that's wet now. That's actually installed like what we talked about. And you'll see this little clip over here. If I can be smarter than the clip. Now open it up. This little clip right here is the same type of clip as on that one up there. And it clamps the cable into place without a big rigmarole over it. Um, anyway, that paint's got to dry. The bolts are tight. I'm going to go ahead and call it an evening and go play with my online buddies and talk to my girl and et cetera, et cetera. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Say goodnight, John. See ya. Oh.